Diamond Frio Peak, 11,500 feet. We started climbing this morning. We may not even get to the top today. That's how high, that's how high it is. I'm only at 8,400 right now. I still got to go up 3,000. So this trail split us up. The, the tramway is split up. <laughs> That's what happens, you know. Uh, I stopped for lunch because I need my energy. So uh, Nebraska kept going. And then uh, Chica, he never really caught up to us. He's, I just talked to a hiker. He's about 10 minutes further back down the mountain from where I am right now. And I'm only a third of the way up, and it's one o'clock in the afternoon, so I don't know if he, oh, I know he's not going to make it all the way up. Chica, not Chica, uh, Nebraska might make it all the way up, but um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I, I feel good. I'm just I'm going one step at a time. I'm really taking my time. I, I started off with uh, six liters of water. Um, I'm down a little bit of water now because I've been drinking it, but I got enough water to get me through the night and probably right up to noontime tomorrow and by then I'll be hitting the spring so I'm, I, f I'm feel good about that my water situation um, just having a peach yeah it's heavy and I got two apples too I still have I'll have an apple later this afternoon but I love my peaches on the trail I just love them so whenever I go into town to resupply I always grab a couple and um, this is my last one. I had one yesterday, and I'll, I'll finish this one off in a few minutes. Um, I just want to show you this, the fog, the, this fog, it's smoke from the Yosemite uh, fires have uh, drifted in, and it's really thick. You can't even see the other side of the lake like last week. Last week, you know the photos I took? You can see the white caps across the lake. You can just about even make out the mountains on the other side now. It's, uh, I feel bad for the people who are spending big bucks to go on vacation here because uh, if they're coming here for the view, there is, there is no view right now. So, huh. All right, well, I'm going to continue on here. Obviously, they don't want you camping here because they threw stones all on the, all on the campsite. But uh, that's what they do if the forest ranger feels you. It's not a good campsite. They they kind of throw junk on it. All right, talk to you people later. Wow. I'm at nine thousand feet. I still. Have. I don't know where it is, but I still got 2,000 feet, 2,000 feet to go. Wow. <sighs> Look at this. Unbelievable. climbing this thing I guess I don't know all right wow I'm entering the Mount Rose wilderness at 90 oh it's up here oh, oh I think 92 something 9300 feet I'm going to spend the night up here, too. I'm not going down. It's, uh... Oh, what time is it? It's 3 o'clock. So I'm just going to hike for another hour. But I'm going to stay up here. I'm sleeping up here tonight. So much cooler. It's, uh... 77, but there's a light, nice light breeze up here. So... Uh... This is where I'm going to spend the night. I'm not going down where it's going to be hot and muggy. I'm not doing that. Okay. Oh, man, this was... I still got to go up. 
Ah, two, a little under 2,000 feet somewhere. Oh, right over there, straight ahead. There it is. Mount Rose. Yeah. So that's what I got to go up. I'm going to do that tomorrow morning. Oh, look at this shot. I didn't even see this. This is the um, northern end of the lake. I got to think. Wait a minute. Yes, it is. This is the northern end of uh, Lake Tahoe. Um, too bad you're not yet. It's not clear like last week, but uh, we can only take what uh, Mother of the Nation wants to give us. A little hazy, but oh well. Look at that. Nice view. Nice way to end the trip. <laughs>